Are we live? Is this it? Hello? <laughs> hello, hello, yeah, we're live. How you doing, guys? How you doing today, Pretty Mitchell? good, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, you know what? I can't complain today. I ate, I ate a pretty big dinner. What about you? How are you doing, Zach? I'm just chilling, you know. Easy day. That's good. So what are we talking about today? The cost of the MCAT and your med school applications. Pretty scary. Oh, yeah. Right. Money topic. Let's talk about money today. It's always a scary thing uh, for us poor students to talk about. Really is. Really is. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is study materials. So, MCAT books, 270, depending on what you get. 270 was the Kaplan books, which a lot of people like using. I think you use those. I, I like Kaplan, yes. Yeah. Kaplan's very detailed. I use exam crackers. I actually bought mine for my med student who sold them for 50 bucks. So I got a good deal. That's good. That's good. I was lucky enough to get the uh, the MCAT books from downloaded thanks to you for free, which was good. And some med students yeah. online do share for free, but that's kind of hard to find too. So Yeah. Okay, so talk to me about you world. So what exactly... What exactly does it give me for two hundred and nineteen dollars? Yeah, so that's U World is a basic practice questions for the MCAT. Uh, two nineteen dollars is for a ninety day access. So I mean, ninety days should be enough practice for you for your MCAT when you do all your studying. But yeah, it just gives you a lot of practice problems to do, which is as I mentioned in other videos, practice problems where I struggled at the most. I didn't do them. So I kind of recommend you world. So so you world like w I can find practice exams. It's like practice problems, like harder practice problems to do. Okay. For each okay. topic. And then you have the practice exams, which are the official practice exam exams, which are those four of them. They're thirty five dollars each. Now you can go to the other companies and take their practice exams, such as Kaplan, Exam Crackers, and stuff like that, but. I didn't include the cost of those, which your cost would be higher if you do those. Did you did you take the four exams from the AMC? I think I took three of them. But okay, there's also the free diagnostic test you need to take too, but that's free, so the cost oh, is yes. included. So. Yes. Now, now this free diagnostic test is the same length as an exam, correct? Yeah, it's the same exact length. It just it's called a diagnostic test because it's basically free, and you just take it. And you figure out like where you're at before you start like hardcore going to your. So study. whenever, whenever you took it, um, did it help you gauge the level that you needed to study even more? Yeah, kind of. Cause you kind of take it before you like you get like you study some, you take the exam, you're like, oh, that's where I'm at. Then you just feel like, okay, what am I struggling the most? So. Okay. Then you have the MCAT and the Casper. So the MCAT exams, three hundred thirty dollars according to this information. Yeah. And you don't want to take that twice, so do good the first time. Yeah, I, you do not, I mean, actually, you know what? I, I kind of do. So if unless I get like a really high score the first time, I am most definitely taking it twice. Because I would like, I would like to get a minimum of a five twelve. So if I get more than that, then I don't need to take it. But if I get less than a 512, I'm going to take it again. Why 512? 512 or 511, it's like a very good baseline. I think it's 90th percentile. Okay. Um, and I don't want to be on the 80th percentile because my GPA is not at 4.0. <laughs> gotcha. Do yeah. they also have the so Casper kinda wanna... test too? Have you heard about that? The what? The Casper test. Have you heard about that? No, I actually haven't. Yes, yeah, so the Casper test is required for some med schools and some DO schools, and it's basically just ethical test. You can't really study for it. So, like some some med schools, some MD schools are actually going to ask for it. More MD so than DO have... schools, but they do ask. So for it might as well just. You know, for ten dollars, might as well just take it. Yeah, just make sure you know what schools you're applying to, then, and send it to them. Mm, of course, of course. It's basically like they give you like a video scenario and be like people acting out, 
and then they'll ask you like a couple questions why don't you so if your typing speed is really slow you should work on that before you take the Casper because you're kind of timed per one now now it says that ten dollars for each school you need to send it to yeah so the test itself so, is ten like, dollars and each school you have to send it to is ten additional dollars per school right how many schools have you had to send your Casper to I applied to many schools, so only two DO schools required it, and one MD school, I think, required it. Okay. So. Okay. So I ended up spending around maybe $50, maybe $30. Yeah, somewhere around that. I think in the estimates for this, I put 40 just to be safe, just for lowballing it, but... Okay. okay. Now, your applications, so there's M class, <laughs> which is for your... Uh, MD schools and a comus, which is for your DO schools. So AMCAS $170 initial and $41 for each school. The ACOMAS is $196 so, and then $46 for each school. So, but uh, this is just $41 for each school. It's not like baselines. It's like different for school or is it the same? The same. It's literally every, every time we check a school, it's 40, 41 more dollars. 41 more dollars. Man. Now I'm broke. Have, and now you have secondary, so they're, I say roughly $80 oh, yeah. each. So you're saying roughly, but you've been telling me that you've been paying like 100 pretty much, or a hundred, or more than 100 each. I, there's some that was like 50 and some been like 100, so it really, that's, those varies between schools. Okay. Those, those, okay, so those are, the secondaries are the vary between schools, but the, the primary, the, the initial ones are exactly the same. Yeah. The problem with secondaries, though, is that most schools require you to submit them after your primary automatically. So, like, even if your scores are really so bad, they're still going to make you send them before they look at your application. So, like, we're definitely not looking at your application, but send us your money anyways. Yeah, basically. That I feel like that should be illegal. One... I feel like you should ask for secondaries only if you he's somewhat, somewhat qualified he somewhat might perhaps maybe get in <laughs> get in but like don't don't ask me to send you eighty dollars if I'm not if I'm just gonna get denied. Like come yeah, on. Exactly. It's We're it's rough. Both. It's like automatic too. It's this... like automatic send it to you and say you have to do it within two weeks. I feel like this makes it a lot more difficult for um students who are in need or who come from different backgrounds who are not well off by their parents or there is a uh, you know. fee application waiver you can do to I'm not sure what that entitles but I'm pretty sure it makes your application a lot cheaper yeah I checked it out I don't qualify but but yeah I, I did hear about that <laughs> yeah but there is that to help the people out and then the title so this is assuming you're applying to 8 uh, DO and 8 uh, MD schools so, so, 16 schools is the average MD per, or someone applies to schools. So, study material is 630. Um, it's a lot of money. Yes. MCAT and Casper is. is 370. Again, I chose $40 because I mean, the numbers look prettier. So, eh, for the uh, Casper. Right. <laughs> Applications, <laughs> 2,342. Now, keep in mind, this isn't counting interviews either. So, if you got an interview and you have to travel across the country. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, it's everything but, is but, online, so... Cause yeah, COVID, everything but. is online now. So it's all going to be like Google Meet or Zoom or whatever they whatever they pick. Or they do like these automatic but, but, questions you have to talk to a mic and answer already questions with no person there. Or I've actually never heard of that. I yeah. know that they do rapid rapid fire interviews, but I didn't know about this mic questions. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they just put like, questions on the screen and you have to answer them, and there's no person there. Yeah, it's awkward. So, but okay. So the total is for everybody who read read it, it's three thousand three hundred and forty two dollars. Just in case if you're listening to this in a podcast type thing while driving or studying, well, it's three thousand three hundred and forty two. That's on the cheap side. That's not counting the secondaries, correct? No, it's counting secondaries. It is. Yeah, it's counting secondaries as well. Okay. So that is counting secondaries. That's not counting transportation. Um, if you need to housing. interview, right? 
to like get a hotel or Airbnb, motel, whatever, sleep in your car or um, dressing the part, like having to buy the clothes for it or like getting your roommates, you know, dress pants or whatever. But that's only for 16 schools. I am applying for 25 or 24. I know a lot of med students do apply for more. I was surprised the average is so low. I yeah, like I was expecting like 20 or 30, but yeah. Yeah, I think I'm doing between 24 and 25, um, maybe 23 uh, MD schools that I'm applying to. Maybe a few DOs, but I'm mostly applying to MDs. I'd probably recommend d d more DO than that because they your GPA is more in the DO range. Oh my god! Yeah, yo, yeah, I know, I know. So, I'm, unless you, I'm if still you, dreaming. If you kill the MCAT though, you'd be good. Maybe. Right. Well, well, maybe. Hmm. This is why I need to be in the 90th percentile. This is why I want like a minimum of a 512. A minimum of a 512. But I know, like in the applications, like if you have like one weakness, it really kills you. Your uh, thing for MD schools. I can, I mean, I can kind of tell them my situation and the reason why. But I don't care. However, you don't get to talk However, to you. however, <laughs> yeah, however, they might not even, like, get me a secondary, like, uh, interview. Yeah, if you don't get the interview, so, you can't so, explain yourself. That's true. So, um, this, for me, it's going to be around $5,000. You can kind of calculate, for anybody listening, you can kind of calculate into the math you're on, on yourself, like, Adding or subtracting the number of schools, maybe adding like a deviation rate of uh, maybe between a hundred and three hundred dollars um, for secondaries for some schools that you might want to apply to have like higher, more expensive secondaries, secondary applications that might be more expensive. If you do take more than four tests, uh, that's thirty five dollars each. Or if you do take more MCAT, um, Kaplan, or you know, exam pros or whatever it's called test now we're not adding that monetary value into that so if you do want to make that math it'll be more than three thousand dollars so just assume that you're going to spend between five thousand dollars or maybe less maybe more just to apply to become a doctor which is insane yeah <laughs> which which i i would have had to get a loan if i if i if i wouldn't be taking this time off just to work I would honestly have to get a loan. Th this amount of money is how much my three courses I'm taking cost right now. Yeah. That's a, wow, that's a lot. So I'm taking 12 credit courses for the same amount of money it takes just to apply to med schools to get rejected. Yeah, and the, but yeah, we should, we should talk about the level of rejection. Some of them will never get back to you. Some of these universities you will never hear from. It's kind of like ghosting. You send them a text. You know? They don't respond. Hey, l l let's go on a date, you know? I know this perfect spot. They never respond. <laughs> they left you on red. They see your text, but then just they never respond, and they ghost you. Or, 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 they ask for a secondary, and then you never hear from them again. I've most heard about that. Most tell you to send a secondary. They, like, they want the money. Yeah. So... That's it for this video, so guys. Be... Hope you guys yeah. learn about the Thank cost you so of much. flying. You know, it's expensive. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. We'll see you then.